today because we're all in quarantine and it really needs it and i don't know i just wanted to try that so i'm really nervous kind of excited i know i just like want to try it and see how it goes and if it turns out badly i can always go back to the salon and like properly cut it so yeah that's what we're gonna do now i just took before pictures and i also showed you the did the before clip already so a little background story to my hair is i it's like usually it's that color i um colored it i made it obviously a lot lighter which i love i actually love the light color but i'm planning on going darker or like back to my natural color at the end of this year because then i'm gonna go to university and i don't think i'm gonna have enough money to like re-dye my hair every three months so that's the plan on that and my hair is extremely fine and thin so it breaks very easily which obviously the bleach doesn't help but i'd say it grows fairly fast what else can i tell you i kind of feel like i have wavy-ish hair because if i so that's my hair when i blow dry it which i never do i don't really blow dry it at all and then it's kind of straight but like also really frizzy but when i try to do the whole curly girl method thing with like scrunching it up putting a lot of conditioner and oil all this that stuff in then it kind of curls and like it's pretty wavy which i prefer so i'm still trying to figure out what my hair wants and what it needs but that's not for this video right now so today we're gonna cut my hair i bought some scissors at the grocery store <laughs> so let's see how those are i hope they're somewhat good because i mean they feel good yeah let's just like do a little cut and see how they are that's good i guess i'm <laughs> good enough okay cool i am following a youtube video from Brad Mondo on how to cut your own hair with not without ruining it, which fingers crossed that's not gonna happen. So yeah, I have the scissors, I have my brush, I have my comb, I have some hair clips, I have some baby hair ties for my sister, <laughs> and I have something to part my hair with. I know this is a nail file thingy, but whatever, I just don't have any professional stuff, so I'm gonna have to bear with that one. So I guess I'm just gonna do what he says and try to follow that as best as possible and tell you how it goes as i said that's my hair before oh also i'm not planning on cutting a huge amount off because i actually want to do that when i start university so for the summer i still want to kind of keep it a little longer so i'm just going to show you a close-up of my hair like just the fact that they stand like this <laughs> that means that they're pretty damaged so let's watch the video and see what we have to do okay so first thing is to part your hair along the middle all the way to the back okay, let me ask my mom Mama, part one is completed. I sectioned off my hair along the back. And now we need two more sections. So he basically, you can just watch the video. He basically just explains that you find the highest point on your head and then drag your comb down. It's like right behind your ear. And that's where you're supposed to part your hair. I actually watched this video twice already to make sure that I get what he's talking about. Let's see if that helps. Okay, cool. So he basically tells you to let your hair fall naturally and then right above the point where you actually want to cut it is where you should put the tie and you are supposed to make sure that you don't like redirect your hair so you don't pull it forward or backwards and that's what I just did. So I think that much needs to go. Actually, I don't care about the front pieces too much because I kind of like it when they're a little bit shorter. Cool, okay. I think I did the second section. Let's repeat that stuff. Okay, last section. Okay, cool. I hope this is straight. Let me check what my dad says. So now is actually the scary part. He tells us to point cut. So technically that's like a blunt cut is what he calls it. It's that's gonna be like very straight, very straight across. And we kind of want to, apparently, that's what he says, point cut so it looks more like fluffy and natural. So yeah, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do now. Jesus Christ. And, oh God, okay. Bye bye split ends. Ooh. He also says that at this point, if the elastic is tight, you can like like lift it up like that or like this. Like it doesn't matter as long as you don't touch the elastic. <laughs> Why the fuck am I so scared? This is ridiculous. I also, I love cutting my hair. Like it's, I'm not really attached to my hair at all. Okay, can we do it? I think we can, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, cool, that was fun. 
it's actually not that much hair. What he says is that you can just like point cut into the whole thing so it kind of makes it look more wispy. Fuck, I don't know what I'm saying. Whatever. That was fun. Oh my god, okay. Also, it needs to be said that my ends are so dead that there's really nothing to save them besides cutting them off. And I mean, if anything goes wrong, like this is fucking quarantine, who the hell cares? Okay, second one. Get off! <laughs> oh my lord, okay, cool. Second part. They look the same. Third part. This is, this is like a lot. This is like a lot more. No, it's actually perfect. Okay, let's just do it, fuck. I literally feel like a child, which I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay. Okay, the last part. Bye bye. Thank you. I think that's enough point cutting. Let's see if this looks even. I'd say it does. I'd say it does. It's okay. That's good. It's fine. Okay, I'm taking it out now. Okay, let's see if it's even. I hope so. Oh, I hope I didn't mess it up. Let me brush through it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, the front parts are actually a lot shorter. So I made a mistake because obviously, as you can see, it's like kind of... Um, but we're gonna fix that now now. Okay, let me show you from the back. It probably looked quack. Kind of bad from the back because of that step. But I'm just gonna put it all to the front and then like round it out, if that makes any sense. Oh, let's see what he does. That is me realizing that this is not what it's supposed to look like and that I totally fucked it up and that his model's hair looks perfect because he actually knows what he's doing, unlike me. I'm not gonna look into the camera, I'm gonna look into the mirror cord. So let's put some of that behind and then just basically point... Okay, wait, no. <laughs> what I want to do is create a... Fuck, this is so hard. So as you can kind of tell, probably, I'm kind of like freestyling this part now. Wow, that looks way better. Wow. Okay, that helped a lot. Let me see if I can actually get rid of the thing in the front too, because that, like, it looks so bad. <laughs> he also does the face framing later. Let's do the same thing with the other side. It probably still looks awful. Yes. <laughs> okay, this looks bad. Wow. Wow. Fuck. This is kind of a fail. <laughs> should I just cut that part off as well? Maybe I should. So at this point, this is not going according to the video. A little freestyle and hurt nobody. So let me show you what it looks like from behind now. Fingers crossed it looks better than it did before. Because if it doesn't, then I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> okay, let me put you down again. We're now doing the face framing. I cannot see a thing. Now he's just talking about the steps in front. Okay, so I'm really sorry that I consecutively said steps in this video, but I know it's layers and my mother tongue is still German, so please don't judge me and just ignore the fact that I am apparently completely not capable of speaking English. Thank you. <laughs> Which I kind of want to include or like check on if they're too harsh or like not even there. Okay, see, so that's exactly what I don't want. This thing right here. So I'm gonna cut that off. Always point cutting because otherwise it's gonna be too harsh. Okay, let's do the other side. Get rid of exactly this part right here. That's way better. Okay, let me actually pull you up once more just so I can um, properly look into the mirror because now I kind of want to see if those steps are okay. Also, I want the very front parts to be quite short, but at the same time, I can't see anything. Okay, I'm actually really liking this so far. Like, I think it's quite cool. And this step is like completely gone almost.
So we're gonna do just a little bit of layering, which is what he's gonna explain next. So let's just watch. Wow, why did nobody ever tell me that I have such a resting bitch face when I look concentrated? What he says is to add layering is you basically just like put your hair into those four parts yet again. He says to part the hair, then brush up the first part. Okay, then you need to part it and just use the top half since it's only layers, it's not length because we already did the length and then secure it while holding it with another hair tie. And the important thing is here to uphold that pole while putting the hair elastic around. So it's supposed to be like that and then you can pull it down. Yeah, cool. And that's what it's supposed to look like. So we're going to do that with the rest now. So what you want to do at this step is basically just take off an inch or so from the very end so you kind of have more volume in your hair and it creates layers. So I'll just let that out. I think I'm happy with the result. I think I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to put in the before and after pictures. I'm quite happy. I feel like it feels so thick and like back to being really healthy. It just feels like I have so much more hair now, which is amazing. Look actually how much got off. This is actually quite a lot and it feels so dry. It's awful. Ugh. And then I'm going to do the color thing tomorrow and then show you the final, final result as to how I usually style my hair, what it looks like then. And I need to get myself hair free now because <laughs> I'm covered in tiny baby hairs. So yeah, let's see you tomorrow. Hi, welcome back. It is the second day or the day after the big haircut. I really enjoy the length, even though it got a lot shorter than what I actually planned for. I'm happy with it because now it's at least it's like healthy. And that's all that really matters to me because I don't see the point in having like long hair if it's literally breaking apart at the end. So um, yeah, I really love it. I really like the length. I enjoy it very much. I especially like my little ponytail. It's so like short and fluffy. I love it. Tee! Now we're actually gonna do the coloring or I mean non-permanent hair dye. Yeah, I bought it in like a drugstore. It's honestly, I don't think it's like that high quality of a thing, but it was the one that basically washed out the quickest. So this one's only for, oh, it actually says four times of washing your hair. So yeah, that's not a lot, but the other ones would have been like two months or something. So it's probably gonna last me if I wash it only once a week, about like four weeks. So we're gonna see how that looks like. Okay. Cool, I'm back. I just had to reformat my SD card because apparently I'm a noob and I didn't know that you had to do that. So as I was saying, even if, I mean, those look like, like the girl in that picture, looks like she has the exact same hair color and like highlights as me. So it can't be that dark. And my main goal is to, let me show you. If I put my hair up in a ponytail like this, all of the front pieces obviously lay on top. So as you can see, all of this is like half grown out already. This part is what really bugs me. Like I just don't, it's just so annoying. It's like the contrast is so hard. So the main goal for this thing is to just be worked into the very front pieces right here, which are also so light from when I dyed it and I was back in Cape Town and I was surfing and stuff. It got crazy, crazy light really fast. And that's what I don't really like anymore be just because the roots have grown out so much. So as soon as I, as I said, I really love the blonde. And as soon as I have money and all of this is over, I'm gonna re-dye the roots to keep the look of the overall hair and just fix this problem because this is bugging me. So um, yeah, that's what the hair dye is supposed to do, just so you get an idea. So I'm not like looking to go back to complete brunette. That's not the the main goal here um it's just to like tone down those front pieces so if i have it up in a ponytail it doesn't drive me crazy so this is what my hair color looks like right now that's the before and i'm just gonna do a quick workout so i can have an excuse to shower and put that thing in my hair like you're supposed to use it like a shampoo it also says that you're supposed to leave it on for 5 to 20 minutes depending on how dark you want it i think i'm just gonna like quickly shower put this in my hair and then get out of the shower and then just put it up in a, like a bun and watch how it kind of develops and if it gets too dark during the process, I will just like wash it out immediately. That was my sister. What are you doing? She's three by the way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey. 
Okay, so I just got out of the shower and applied this all over my hair. I don't know what to say, that's what it looks like. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is that the water that drops from my hair is like a bit orangey-ish. I had an accident with orange red hair dye before. <sighs> My friends know it's been bad. It was like not cute at all. Cause I tried to, I don't know why, but I dyed my hair because I wanted to. And I thought it was not permanent, but it turned out to be pretty permanent. And I wanted to have like a nice reddish dark brown kind of thing. Like just like a rich brown with like a red undertone. I don't know, that's what I wanted. I did that or I bought something that looked like it and then I did it and then it turned out to be straight up red and then it faded and then it was orange. <laughs> I can insert some pictures if I find some, but the pictures are also probably extremely bad because I was like 15. I don't know, it was not it was not cute at all. So I'm kind of concerned that this might turn out to be like orangey, but I mean it's not orange, it's supposed to be like darker blonde. So also never mind the most amazing towel in the whole world. Also the only soccer club that should be supported. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what this looks like as soon as it washed out and the way it looks when it's somewhat curly, wavy-ish. Um I'm back. My hair is, I'd say like 80% dry. I'm really sorry about the lighting. It has probably changed quite a bit just because my hair took some time to dry. So that's what it looks like right now, which is basically after a little scrunching and conditioner, leave-in and oil, but there's no like curl enhancing product in there at all. As you can see, it's kind of wavy or like curly-ish and the color I feel like has not changed at all. Maybe the very front bits are a little bit yet less white-ish, but I don't think there's a lot of change at all, which kind of sucks. I don't know, that was extremely unnecessary, but it was worth a try. So yeah, that's what my hair looks like right now. That's the after. It's probably really frizzy from the back. I don't, I can't see the back, so I'm really sorry. I do feel like the curls are a bit enhanced since there's not that much weight and like split ends weighing it down. So I feel like I see a lot more of really tight ringlets. I also feel like it looks a lot shorter now because it's like kind of pushed up because of the curls this is quite short actually like it's been down to here i think i'm very happy by the way it turned out i'm actually quite impressed that i like achieved such a good haircut and the ends feel really healthy and like no split ends whatsoever which is amazing so thumbs up for that amazing that this wasn't a fail or i mean maybe it was because there's like no color in my hair yeah thank you very much for watching as far as now <laughs> Hi, so I am currently editing this video. I'm so sorry that I have to film an outro like that yet again because I actually planned on cutting my mom's hair after, which I did, but I didn't really film it. So yeah, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed me chopping off my hair and I will see you in my next video. I'm gonna cut my own hair.